Hi everybody, my name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club and today we're going to be reviewing these OWL batteries by BigBattery.com. Um, they sent me two of these guys to review and I said, heck yeah, I love to review batteries and gear. So the cool thing right off the bat that I love about these guys is the amount of energy you get for the price. So for example, most competitors are a 100 amp hour 12 volt battery for just under a thousand bucks. These are at the exact same price range, but you get 170 amp hours. So yes, please, I'll take the extra 70%. Um, if you end up being interested in these guys, there's a link down below that'll take you to their website and get you an additional 10% off, which saves you like a hundred bucks off these guys. So if these do end up being a nice fit for you, you can click the link down below and save some cash or use the code word adventure up top. So thank you very much, Big Battery, for giving me that 10% discount that I can give to all of you. Now, um, do they cut any corners or anything weird to get that extra 70%? Not by what I've been able to tell at all. These are brand new lithium iron phosphate cells, which is the same as all of my other really top end lithium RV batteries. That's the good stable safe chemistry that you want in these kind of batteries. And it also gives you the most charge cycles, full charge cycles, which is up to about 3000. To put that in perspective, you could drain these to 0% and then drain them all or charge them up to 100% every single day. They would last 8.2 years. And they're not even dead after that. They're probably at about 80% capacity. So that's incredibly cool. They last a very long time. Um, everything is new. These things are built like a tank. All the wire gauge and the circuit boards and the battery management system, everything looks incredibly heavy duty and it doesn't look like they skimped anywhere on anything. It's built like a brick. Uh, the casing itself is very robust. Now, the other things that I really liked about these batteries right off the bat is that you get a power button. Why is that cool? Well, you can just turn the battery off. It completely eliminates the need for a battery disconnect switch in our RVs. So you just turn off the power and you're good to store that thing for like a year or two and it's gonna hold its charge that entire time. No power vampires or a clock radio or anything slowly draining it. You turn it off, you can charge your RV. It's totally good into, if it's turned off, just good to whatever temperature range you want, really. So you can leave that in your RV for a year or two. You come back, you turn it on, you're gonna have a battery that's completely ready to go. So I love that feature. Also comes with a digital display for voltage, that's handy. And a 300 amp fuse on the side. And that's also very good because most batteries are just the battery and you have to put an inline fuse right there by the battery in case you have a short down the way, um, you're not going to melt that wire and possibly cause a fire. So this has a 300 amp serviceable fuse built in. You can change it if it ever blows, uh, which I think is incredibly neat. Also the way that they constructed the cabinet and the cells inside, you have four uh, lithium iron phosphate cells and it's actually pretty easy to take this guy apart. And if you ever had like one of those cells go bad, in like six or seven years or something, you could literally just pull out that cell and replace that cell. That's cool. It's like a serviceable battery compartment inside if, if you know what you're doing, obviously. But that's incredibly cool as well. Now these guys weigh about, I think 45 pounds, somewhere right about in there, 43 or 47, I can't remember. But um, that's still incredibly lightweight when you consider how many lead acid batteries it would take to get you 170 usable amp hours. It'd weigh like two or 300 pounds. Um, so they're still very lightweight, very easily portable with one person. I can carry them around no problem. And you get 170 amp hours of usable energy out of these guys, which is crazy, um, or at least so they say. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take us out to the RV, hook up both of these, fully charge them, and we're gonna see exactly how many amp hours we actually get out of these batteries and uh, put these guys to the test um, as far as capacity. And also we're gonna try and pull a full 175 amp hours out of them at one time, which they are rated for. You can also go double that for up to six seconds. So you can pull a lot of power out of these guys and charge them very, very fast. They recommend about 80 amps of charging, but you can, you can charge them with up to 175 amps, um, which is just insane. So you could really dump power into these guys and pull it out fast and they're gonna last you a really long time. Let's go out to the RV and see if these actually do what they say they're going to do. So first off, we're gonna charge these up. So I'm charging at about 80 amps here. And once this gets up to 14.6 volts, it's gonna stop charging. We'll know that we have a totally topped off battery 
And then I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the power supply cord from the outside of the RV, turn on one of the electric heaters and let it run. Okay, so now that we've uh, got this fully charged up, what we're gonna do is start with this little guy right here. So we'll turn this on. We'll go on the first setting. Okay, so I recalibrated my meter, I reset everything, it knows the battery's full and it knows that no amp hours have been used. And we started this process. And you can see that we're using about 80 amp hours worth of power at about a thousand watts. And that maintains pretty close to constant throughout the entire run of this test. We did start this at about 1230, I think it was 1223. And we're gonna let this run all the way down. Now you'll notice that the percentage meter is gonna go to zero a little before this test is actually over. And then you see it start kind of turning on and off. The batteries were almost completely spent. And so they were turning, it didn't have enough to quite turn on the inverter for a thousand watt draw. But as it ends, you can see it still kept everything else on. And when we used the last bit of power from these batteries, 339.9 amp hours. That's crazy. We were expecting 340. We got it. We absolutely got it. And um, that just blows my mind because even with the smaller wires, you know, there's probably a little bit of loss, but not really. I mean, I think they handled a thousand watts just fine because obviously we got 339.9 out of the 340 amp hours we were trying to get with those two batteries. Each one is 170 amp hours. You add those together, 340. They delivered all of that, which I think is really, really impressive. Um, so every single bit of the power they promised delivered. Now let's check to see if we can really pull a lot of power out of these guys. I'm gonna turn on both heaters and we're gonna see if we can get up there to close to the 175 amp draw that they say you can pull out of these things. So let's check that out right now. Okay, so now that we've uh, got this fully charged up, what we're gonna do is start with this little guy right here. So we'll turn this on. We'll go on the first setting. Run about 1100 watts, 90 amps. Now, let's turn on this big guy. On low. Two thousand watts continuous at one hundred and seventy five amps. That is a lot of current. Let's see if we can push it. Let's go to high. Oof. And let's go to high on this other guy, just for fun. We'll push it all over the top. Oh my God. They're both cranking out heat. Both totally maxed out here. Very impressive. And it says we could run like that for two hours. That's crazy. I don't know about all that, but possibly. That's definitely a lot of power. I mean, that's enough to run an air conditioner, a 15,000 BTU air conditioner and like the refrigerator and everything else in my RV easily uh, would still probably come in under 2000 watts. That's TVs and whatever. Pretty cool. Both cranking out heat. We'll let that run for a little bit. See if my uh, breaker doesn't trip. Okay, I think we'll kind of shut it down because the problem that we're having is the batteries that I received came with an Anderson power cable with a smaller gauge wire and they're not designed for this much power pull. 
So make sure that you match yours accordingly when you do it because mine are getting just a little bit hot if I walk you over here. These wires, they're just warm to the touch, but they are warming up because these are the smaller gauge that they have and uh, probably not rated for 175 amps. Well, there you go, guys. I've been putting them through the paces for about three weeks. I want to do a lot more testing with these guys, like with my air conditioner and stuff, but it's like 40 degrees here, so I won't be able to use my air conditioner for a little while, but I'm going to be doing a lot more testing with these, but so far, so good. I'm really impressed with these, and yes, please, I would love more capacity for the same amount of money. So I'm really enjoying these guys. If there's something that you're interested in, click the link down below this video. It'll take you to their website, save you 10%, which is hundreds of dollars off each, everything you buy, whatever. And uh, if you want to call, you can use the code word adventure and that'll also save you that 10%. Um, BigBattery.com does golf car batteries and RV batteries and house solar batteries for solar and wind and custom batteries. So they do all kinds of cool stuff over there. Just click the link and check them out. And if it's right for you, it's right for you. But I think that about covers it for now. I will keep you guys up to date as I continue to punish these guys and put them through the tests. And I think that about wraps it up. My name is Jim with Full Moon Adventure Club, and until the next video, thank you so much for watching, and happy camping.